I've been showing off a whole bunch of what I think is really cool technology on this channel. But what is maybe more important than the technology itself are the individuals who use them. The developers that are taking this technology and creating something with it that is really showing how it can be used in ways that are pushing the industry forward. And that's what I want to make this video about. Today, I want to introduce to you David Stapp. This is someone who is not particularly well known, but I think that he should be because the stuff that he has been showing off, I think is really, really cool and is showing how a single person can create incredible stories with the technology that is coming out in 2024, 2025, which used to take large scale teams to create. Recently, he released an Unreal Engine cinematic that he created 100% himself. It's called Secrets of the Luminara, and in this, he is everyone. He is every single actor. He does all of the voices himself. He has created the environments. He has done the motion capture. He has created this entire cinematic in an extremely short period of time as a single developer. And while it's not perfect, and I think that there are definitely things about it that could be improved, the fact that he did this in such a short amount of time shows how much a single person can do with the technology that is available out there nowadays if it's used correctly. And before I tell you about it and how he made it, I want you to watch a few scenes of this short movie that he created, which I think could easily pass as a quality cinematic in an Unreal Engine game. So, as you're watching this, just remember, this entire sequence was created by a single person playing every single character. No way. All right, boys, you know the drill. If you can lift it, it comes with us. If you can't get to it, don't worry. We've got more boomsticks. My father was right. It's been here the whole time. And it's a shame he couldn't be here to see it. What is this? One of the Luminaran scripts your father was able to recover. Can you read it? I can try. At the base of the Great Hill, you will find passage to the temple, temple of the banished. Now, creating this entire movie, which if you want to go watch the entire thing, link is down in the description, took him about two months, but he did it all himself. He created the environments, he created the animations, he used MetaHuman and a bunch of different tools, but he did it as a one-man team. And one of the tools that he actually used to create all of the animations for this was a tool called Move AI. And what this is, is an AI tool that allows you to do motion capture, but instead of having to wear a full bodysuit, you can literally just take a video of yourself with your iPhone, and then it will capture that motion and apply it to characters in Unreal Engine. That means you can do full cinematic sequences using motion capture just from your phone. And while Again, you can notice tiny little issues. I mean, the characters, the way that they move their neck, and a couple of other small details, it's very obviously a metahuman rig. But getting it this far along as a single person is impressive because those issues can easily be worked out. I think technology like this and workflows like this are going to be incredible because it's going to allow indie teams to create more rich cinematography for their games, expanding on the lore, creating more storylines without having to do expensive really expensive motion capture and full body animation and other things that normally you'd have to do, which is really hard to do and costs a lot of money to do, which is why most indie games don't have those things. But with this, this allows you to actually create, I would say, compelling cinematography inside of Unreal Engine that you can use in games. 
Heck, I would say you could easily use this as a block out for a actual movie because you could easily hand this off to a VFX crew and say, hey, I did this myself. It's 90% of the way there. Just take this and take it forward. And while AI post-process effects, like what I've shown in my previous videos, is getting impressive, something else that is getting impressive as well at a very similar rate is in-engine rendering. This is a demo that Epic Games put out about a year ago showcasing the most cutting-edge version of MetaHuman. And I have to say, this is starting to look as good, if not better, than some of the AI VFX workflows that I have experimented with that create photorealistic faces. This is really getting there. But the difference between using AI VFX versus using something like this that is in engine is that generating a cinematic sequence in an engine is going to give you a much more consistent result and it's going to be much more performant. Using AI to generate every single frame, not only is it going to have consistency errors, but it's also just going to be way more energy intensive. And that is why I think systems like Move AI, where it utilizes AI to create the motion capture assets, which then you plug in to MetaHuman, will probably be a much better long-term strategy as opposed to using AI to generate every single frame, even for, as opposed to using AI to generate every single frame for a cinematic sequence. And you can see, even close up, the detail is absolutely insane. And there's a big difference between the stuff that MetaHuman currently has that is being worked on versus the kind of stuff that MetaHuman has publicly available. So a lot of the technology that is making this next generation MetaHuman stuff look this good isn't even available yet. So when you see a whole bunch of MetaHuman videos out there that don't look like this, that's because they're using older versions of the technology. But the next generation, the next generation of MetaHuman is going to start looking really, really good. And as you get to a point where the motion capture, the facial capture systems can capture all of the animations that you need and you don't need a mocap suit, you don't need advanced technology, all you need is a phone, everyone is going to have access to do things like this because cinematography like this used to cost easily thousands of dollars, probably tens of thousands of dollars. It is not going to cost that much anymore. Here soon, it's going to cost hundreds of dollars or less. I mean, if you're a hobbyist and you just got time to burn, you could probably figure out how to do this yourself. And when you look at Move AI, the craziest thing about it is that it can create really good animations out of really low quality footage. I mean, so if you look at this footage, you can see even the fingers, the hand placement, so many little details are actually being translated into the animation even with a motion capture suit, getting this kind of fidelity for animation would be hard. And while it's not perfect, the fact that it is getting you this close is extremely useful and time-saving because even if you're an experienced animator, you could take this motion capture and clean this up. And I would even go as far to say that here in the near future, what you will probably be able to do is set up multiple cameras that can then take multiple pieces of footage and compile it. So if there's like, I don't know, a hand that is not visible in a certain place or at a certain time, it will also be able to translate that into usable motion capture so you're getting every single angle and using AI to composite that into a final animation. And when you combine that with the technology that Unreal Engine is creating with MetaHuman, I think it's going to become easier and easier to create really high grade cinematography level material that is going to be just near indistinguishable from AAA. And you're going to be using AI to create these things, 
but you're not even going to be able to notice that it's AI because instead of using AI to generate every single frame, you're using AI to generate behind the scenes assets that plug into these existing in-engine systems that then can be rendered and create really, really convincing media, really high quality convincing cinematics that is going to start being accessible to everyone, especially indie teams that never had the ability to do things like that or didn't have the budget to do things like that in the past. So I would say that this individual is definitely somebody that you should follow. Link is down in the description as well as links to all of the technology that I have discussed in this video. And if you are a game developer, if you are a VFX designer, I highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one call with me to talk about AI in game development, to talk about VFX, Link is down in the description. At the end of the call, if I think you're a good fit, I will offer you a place in our online academy, which is paid, but the call is entirely free. Please keep creating things and keep sharing with me the things that you create. Leave a comment talking about the things that you've experienced this week, this month, that maybe I don't know about, and maybe it'll even be in the next video. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.